All right, I'm going to explain how Molly webbing works and how you can attach specifically a GR1 field pocket to a GR1. You'll notice on the back of a GR1 field pocket, you've got horizontal rows of webbing that is very similar to the horizontal rows of webbing that you'll find on the exterior, but also to the interior of a GR1. So the thing is, is those are stationary rows. Now, on the back of the, the field pockets, you've got vertical strips as well. And so the trick is you've got to, you've got to get these fully exposed if you want to utilize the attachment capabilities of these pockets. Quick tip is that while doing this, you want to make sure everything's empty. So this field pocket's empty. I've got, you know, I've got a dry bag inside the GR1 just so it it's shows up a little bit easier. But easier to let you play with it more. That's what you want. So what you want to do is line these vertical strips up, okay? And one by one, you want to sort of half put them through like this. And then you pull them all through together at the same time, okay? Next step, you go back through the field pocket itself. Like that. So working with Molly webbing, it's stationary as you can, it's as stationary as it gets. It um, can be a little cumbersome to, to set up. Once it's set up, it's really not going anywhere. So I'm going back through the webbing on the exterior of the GR1 now. Um, it's important to do it all at one time or else it gets really hard to pull everything through. So at every turn, I want to make sure that I cinch it down as much as possible. And then I just start the same assembly line of going through this again right here. This is the last one. Um, Last one on the back of the field pocket. So I get them all through there, and I cinch, it, cinch them all down as much as possible. And then I got one more on the face of the GR1 to go through. If you don't keep cinching them down as much, then you run out of, of length, and then you wonder what you did wrong, and what you did wrong is you didn't cinch them down. And then I got one final thing here. I tuck these in. There's some hard plastic inside there that it, it provides some rigidity so that you're, you can still curve it like that, and you tuck it in to the top of each of them. Do that for all four, like that. And then this one here, sort of bend them like that. And then the last and final one right there. All right, and now that's fully attached. That is not going anywhere. This is the same system that's used by soldiers in war to attach pieces to their exterior body armor. Um, specifically with this pack, it's, it still stays pretty minimalist. Then you've got you know, an additional organizational opportunity to put whatever you might want or need on the outside of your ruck. Just allows you to add more stuff. I mean, this thing is as stable as it gets. You, you, know, you, you can't. You can't break that. 